All right, so let's talk about real quick some of the habits and traits that we subconsciously pick up from my parents. When I was a younger kid, my father had this five gallon change jar. He would always tell me and my brother, or my brother and I, <laughs> he would always tell my brother and I, hey, when I fill this change jar up, I'm gonna split this between you and your brother so y'all can have this money. It's gonna be a crap load of money, but it'll be y'all money. And my father facilitated that story. Now, my father is probably, what, 72 years old, and he still has that change job, and it's probably about halfway full. So what did I do as an adult growing up? I started a big-ass five-gallon change job, and I told my kids that same lie. Now, I will tell you, let me get this big ass thing out there. Now, I will tell you that, hey, early on, it was a really good idea. We would just stash some money, put it in there. We always use cash, so we would fill it up with cash. But as time progressed, we never use cash anymore, so we hardly put any change in there. So that change jar has been about that same height now for probably three or four years. So at some point, I already told the kids, I said, hey, let's go ahead and cash this thing out, see how much is in there, and I'm gonna honestly divide it up against them. And that hold off until I'm like 76, like my father is doing with me. So y'all let me know if y'all got a big ass change jar in the house, and uh, if so, what do you plan on doing with it? I'm actually gonna go to the Coinstar to actually count all of it up, but I'm not paying Coinstar 10% to give me the cash back. I'll go to Coinstar, have them count all of it up, put the money back into a different bucket that's easier to transport it. Then we're gonna go to the bank. We're gonna get some uh, some of the rolls to put the coins in. I'm gonna help the kids load them up and we're gonna go deposit all them coins and that pay 10%. Yep, 10% is I'm not willing to do it, I can't do it. And honestly, I remember that came in handy because I remember in like my early 20s once, I don't know what happened and I can't remember what the emergency was, but I needed a couple hundred bucks. And trust me, your boy was able to go in there and get out a couple of hundred bucks worth of quarters and, and everything that was up in there. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what's in there. I don't think it's gonna be, you know, I don't know. That'd be a good thing. I might do a, a, a contest, whoever can guess the closest amount of change that is in this jar will get a gift card or some crypto or something. If I give you crypto, it may not be worth nothing by the time you... <laughs> no, nah, but I, I think that's what I do. When I, when, I'm a go, when I go to do the coin star, I'm actually going to put that announcement out. So just know y'all can start getting y'all guests on now. So y'all can see how high it is. It's not even, I don't know, maybe an inch off the ground. So y'all can get a good look at how much change is in there. And y'all start thinking, getting y'all gears ready, because whoever is the, the two people who are the closest to the actual amount of cash that's in there, I'll send them a gift card or some crypto or something. So y'all think on it. I think that's what I'm going to do when I go to Coinstar. I'm going to reannounce that. But let me know if y'all got a big ass coin jar in your house that y'all keeping forever that y'all probably should go cash in like me. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.